mara ganye ka to bem ka do do ni mem da ngara potek ngai da wade murin di bi ngara ya pok mu ngara ka do temenen da potek ka ni ka bi da wade mara ganye ka to berang ka ni no ngara ngara antar di ka do kono kono kumpan wara Murid ni ni, pemawatan ini me koru, we make stories together. Nanti me kan ini bom kado, dah kan ini wa, kado cip bom kado do, dengar koran kau kan itu, he murid ka, murid pat tau, turan pun cecit turan. Tawa deh ya kan ni. Orang ngai ka mirkon. Ngai ka kado. Temenen. Orang ngai ka ripata. Nanti ngai ka canpa. Ngai ka wok nanam. Ara iewan. Orang ngai ka iyeni. Mili Lanchen, ngai ka kadurak, jera ngara, morin ngai ka marin ngar, nanci ngai ka lirga, ngai ka transition teacher, ngara elady sacred arts, wadi ya. Morin ngai ka palon rosaria tiplora, ngai ka kadu yak tenin, Murid ngai ka matike, inan je ngai ka wangka, ngai ka iyetu jeja, ara alls school, iya kado member of Catholic Epigenal Leadership Team. Murid ngai ka tarangka, Sheila Cinburu. Ngai ka kadurak dirangara. Muri ngai ka maringar. Nanti ngai ka lirga. Ngai ka iya tu tiche. Gara elady of the sacred wadaya. My name is Megan Wood. I'm a primary school teacher and PhD student working with Dr. Carmel O'Shaughnessy. Today our team will be sharing our collaborative endeavours as language teachers and researchers in the early years classrooms at Our Lady of the Sacred Heart School in Wadeh. The content will be presented in both Murumpata and English. Uh, there will be English text on each of the slides to support um, our non-Murumpata speaking audience with the themes and concepts that we are covering today. The English text on the slides are not direct translations. They are based on ongoing conversations and a beef bit of a freestyle recording. The more we record presentations like this, the more time we'll have to ensure increased accuracy. The subtitled videos, however, are free translations um, and I accept responsibility for any errors and encourage feedback on these. Enjoy. In the early years classrooms at Osh School, we work with two different approaches to bilingual and biliteracy education. The students from transition to year two spend time each day in monolingual Murumpata language maintenance classrooms. These classrooms are led by the Murumpata teachers presenting today and other local Aboriginal educators who also speak Murumpata. These classrooms are the focus of our presentation today. The students also spend time each day in the bilingual dual language classrooms. These classrooms are led by non-local ESL teachers and local Aboriginal assistant teachers who speak Murumpata. In these classrooms, teaching teams engage with various bilingual and ESL teaching and learning methods. In the presentation today, we will talk about literacy events in the Murumpatha classrooms, in particular, literacy events that revolve around creating stories. Palun will speak next to explain the different parts of a two hour Murumpatha session before talking about the knowledge system that influences the approach to Murumpatha teaching, learning and resource development at the school. And then I will talk about the link between my PhD research and Murumpata education at Osh. 
Kanyiwa nanti ngomong gue ngomong ngomong Mereka patah yang udah pun gue edit gimana Ini pun bukan lama nih Nanti Story ngaram kali lili menganam Ini mereka Jebuk pur-pur Mama Wait pa mam po nam Ye Narabok ka na ito mo rin pata ka Pinparang dilil ba na mangibiyo no Mo rin niit niit parang dilil ba na Hinanji Kuran ka ako kanya Nanji chat kanya ka Nanji ka na ka LPC ito Mam ngarawata wala nanji purpur Yung udan po nchit chit Haramam mayo dara Kanji karim ka nanti ini pun dapat tek mana kunga kumal ini aturan purpur ini arah muring tanam yeren nanti karim kan jika ini pemahit ini memburu banget ta ini cek mau baca ini memburu arah kalele ini kini mewongo Jadi ini nak kini me, kau ni punya aku mal, ada tu orang kata, itu orang pun cecit itu orang nara, mama itu nara, yang kata mama itu kini baru, yang mata wang. I've been living in Wadia and working at the school since 2015. During my time at the school, I've worked in different teaching and learning curriculum roles, focusing on ESL and wooden putter teaching and learning. More recently, uh, before this research project, I was mainly based in the early years classrooms. The main research objectives aim to provide documentation and analysis of the wooden putter school-based language maintenance approach, at the same time working um, collaboratively with the wooden putter teachers Ensuring that this research makes sense to my colleagues is extremely important. The educators and students I work with are at the forefront of my research. Therefore, I have chosen engaged and participatory ways of working. Uh, engaged ethnography aims to understand the social and cultural and political dynamics of research sites through collaborative methods. It is concerned with documenting rigorous research as well as the strength and vitality of practical application. An example of engaged ethnography is sharing research results during the documentation phase, which encourages feedback both on the direction of the research, for example, the research methods, um, and the practice in focus. For example, here's this great thing happening in your class, how can we share it with our colleagues? Engaged ethnography supports the development of uh, participatory action research projects which involves people working together to look carefully at ways of working through drawing on each other's knowledge, experience and expertise. In our situation, the Murumpata teachers and supporting colleagues, specifically colleagues from the school's literature production centre, work closely together to find good things happening and ensure we make time to think and share an ongoing focus of refining our approach. Both of these methodologies challenge me as a non-Indigenous white woman to reflect critically on my positionality, my, my own ideologies, those that shape the way I work throughout the various stages of the PhD process. It's um, extremely important that I do not reinscribe the colonial tendencies that I aim to avoid. School-based education for Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander students in Australia is a controversial subject. Existing research shows how it is often governed by deficit policy discourse, which often derails implicitly or otherwise culturally and linguistically uh, responsive educational resources and pedagogies in, in favour of those that push a, a skills-based literacy approach, uh, often directly and explicitly and quickly so that we can close the gap, as well as ensuring that the amazing work of the modern path the educators is documented and engaged with by all of our colleagues here at the school this research also aims to talk back to these deficit policies and political initiatives through showcasing the intellectual rigour involved in first language education. Both methodologies um, of engaged ethnography and participatory action research are grounded in collaborative cycles of reflection, data collection and action. This diagram here basically shows the processes, which are definitely not as, as neat as this image shows. Um, the processes of how I have attempted engaged and participatory research. 
classroom observations and documentations, generally photos, written reflections and videos, reflection on these documentations with Murumpat the teachers during planning or after school time and at team meetings, and then implementation, either using these observations and reflections to inform the direction of the research methods or informing classroom practice. For example, things we'll try, things we'll, we'll start to look out for. I've engaged with several theoretical frames. Um, it is important to acknowledge that the consideration of theory alongside the Murumpatta approach is not something we currently do as a team at an in-depth level. Uh, forums such as this and the process of creating a 20 minute presentation provide opportunity to consider more deeply what the Murumpatta approach means for the teachers and students here in Ward Air and how it contributes to bilingual and multilingual models of education in the wider world. It provides us with an opportunity to little by little bridge the gap between academia and our practice as language and literacy teachers. So place-based principles revolve around the need for institutions to understand the importance of place within Indigenous knowledge systems and engaging with place-connected approaches. Approaches that acknowledge that places influence social practice and make the role of place in society more visible. A disregard for place within educational systems limits participation and perpetuates inequality as it diverts attention of educators and students away from the, the social, the, the linguistic and the cultural characteristics that shape who they are as people. The Murumpatha approach at Olsh provides a forum for both local Murumpatha educators and their students to engage and participate in a school-based education that promotes and nurtures the identities and beliefs um, that affirm and accept who they are and, and also responds to curriculum standards. The Murumpatha approach is deeply embedded of pedagogies of place through characteristics such as um, sociocultural beliefs and knowledges from Wade and the surrounding region, family, friends and other significant social relationships, ideologies of language and cultural maintenance, the language of instruction, learning and communication is Murumpatha and it's led by local Murumpatha speaking educators and draws on the past, present and emerging expertise, work and advocacy of the Literature Production Centre. Um, with regards to language and literacy education, this research understands literacy to include the social practice that surrounds literacy learning, as well as the early skills of reading and writing text, in this case, Murumpatha text. The Murumpatha approach is an example of how students you and their teachers um, contribute to the acquisition of, of skills through drawing on their existing knowledges and exp experiences. Um, I'm interested to look at the language socialization around text, looking at the communicative processes within literacy events, in essence, to, to highlight the importance of content, context and communication uh, in and around reading and writing and the distinct language and literacy practices that exist in these classrooms. Um, for example, the literacy skills teachers and students are bringing from home and the meta language that is being used for learning. I've included some images here of different places um, from around the Thamuro region. Uh, and while I'm not suggesting that the concept of place is simply the physical location of a place, however, it's important to um, acknowledge that every day and, and multiple times within each day, the many different places of the Thamuro are, are brought into these Murumpatha classrooms. They are storied and restoried and provide opportunities for teachers and students to engage in learning opportunities that are, that are rich and meaningful. Over the past 12 months, we have been working together to look closely at the literacy events within daily writing sessions, or the time in our sessions where students and teachers make stories together. We've been using this poster, developed and created by the Murumpatha Teachers and the School's Literature Production Centre, um, the poster provides a guiding reminder of the different processes that support the development of writing skills. The steps in this poster are not necessarily intended to be linear as they can be engaged with at any stage of the writing process or the story making process. However, this keeps us on track within teaching and learning routines. I'll now hand over to Deany and she will reflect on these literacy events in her own classroom. We make stories together. Ngai, we are the teachers. 
support people. Kanyi ngara wulk. Mamam kwa ngi me ngano. Kwan pun cecit ngara mamay. Manji ngini pin silibul mani. Cea wanjin. Ngi pumya man bi wana. Manji ar pumam miyan wana wana. Mamay ya. Kanyi wa. Ngai ngunan pun cecit ngano. Man bungun me wana wata. Ngara mamay ya. Pemem ni malik pemem, pemem jauh pemem. Ni pemem mana pemem? Mori ni ni cara mangi pemem mana mana ya? Pere, mama ika panau, ada cewek, anjur ada kuret pemem. Mori ni ni, ada mana pun mangan nak, mangi ni. Family mani wala nga ano kung ako mga langara po langara country ka layale nilailan ko yung story ba yung atawa na Utang ko wala murti ba yun Ano ka ka doon nga tao utang ko คุชิตเตียงคุไลตายินคุชิตเตียงคุไลตายินคุชิตเตียงคุไลตายินคุชิตเตียงคุไลตายินคุชิตเตียงคุไลตายินคุชิตเตียงคุไลตายินคุชิ
Mamma and you could have one gin. Murin eat me eat a larginio, a parenti little man. Eat chawon ma. The kinew chair one gin, mamma. Bonded one up to a parenti little mandate. Mamma clear one of them. Murin eat me parenti little man. Mumbled man being on them. There are many interesting linguistic and social characteristics we intend to explore further. We hope this seminar has provided a glimpse into a legitimate approach to teaching school-based literacy. In a system where students, in particular and overwhelmingly so First Nations children, are being placed in deficit discourse, one that pushes intervention, working harder to catch up, often to achieve assumed criteria, it is always heartwarming to hear our students affirm themselves as school-based learners. These students have things to say and important and critical skills to learn. And these teachers are ready and waiting to do just that, listening and engaging at a level that affirms who they are and who they continue to be. Thank you so much for listening today. Look forward to catching up at the conference.